Hey guys, it's Wes here, and you know what that means, it's time for a new vlog. Labor Day weekend's coming to an end. I hope you all enjoyed yours, and as for mine, I haven't felt the greatest lately. My throat's been a little bit sore, but that's about it. This week, I'm going to be doing a bit more of a touchy topic than usual. Last week wasn't even touchy compared to this week. This week, I'm going to be doing 9-11. Since the 11 year anniversary is in 9 days, I thought, what's more fitting than that? Now, my opinion on this is probably going to offend a lot of people, and they're probably going to be like, you're cold-hearted, you have no morals, you're a terrible person. But, here goes. I don't really know what to believe when it comes to it. I don't know if the Al-Qaeda did it, or Iraq, or any of that. I do partially believe, though, that it was a stunt to go to war with Iraq, in hopes to receive oil. George Bush, he wasn't a good president at all. He got us in a lot of debt. He did a lot of things wrong. And an interesting fact about him is, he was a cheerleader in college. Now, the fact that we're still letting 9-11 get to us 11 years later is wrong. I know, you're gonna be like, what? Why? Uh, yeah, a couple thousand people died, and that's sad. And they should be honored, they should be respected, they should be remembered. But, you shouldn't like, you shouldn't still be in sorrow about it 11 years later. I'm sure if those people were still alive today, they would have wanted their families and friends and co-workers to have moved on by now. And, in a sense, kind of not forgotten them, but forgotten what happened. The people who did it, did it to get to the U.S. They did it to shatter us, break us, and try and tear our country apart. And to continue to remember that day, 11 years later, only shows that they broke us and they got to us. They proved their point. There's hundreds of conspiracies about 9-11, and there's hundreds of people, thousands, who will tell you it was set up. Me? I'm kind of one of those people. I don't, like, I don't know what to believe, as I've already stated. It's weird, because after it happened, when they went to Iraq to search for all the Al-Qaeda, basically, they couldn't find any of them. And before it happened... Okay, I'm gonna bring the Illuminati into this, okay? I do believe the Illuminati exists. I don't like them. I don't like the thought of them. I don't like what they go after. I don't like anything about them. Even ten years before it happened, there were things pointing towards it, that it was gonna happen. I know... Oh, that's crazy, but... After watching so many videos and doing so much research, I feel like the Illuminati, if it was an inside job, that they would have been the ones to set it up. I'm not saying 9-11 should be forgotten, but I feel like you guys should remember the people and not how it happened. It's more important that you remember them than the day and when it happened. So with that, I'm going to let you guys loose. And I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys a simple question. What's your favorite food and why? I know that seems like an odd question to ask, but it's something interesting to know about people, in my opinion. And a special thanks to Josh behind for the intro. I really like it, man, and it means a lot you made me it. Thank you. And that's it. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you all had a good Labor Day weekend, and I hope you all have a good week. Enjoy yourselves.